right guys it's just me again today doing a solo investigation but i wanted to stop by here i'd passed this cemetery and it drawed me a little bit so i said i need to come check that out um as you can see there's a cornfield behind it and all this haze in there this is all smoke from the wildfires in canada coming down to us so it's a little hard to breathe today but i'm gonna get out here and check out the cemetery a lot of old ones here see that one fell over a little windy See this little family plot here. Plot. Harry and Roxy. My gimbal's having a mind of its own right now. Let's see here. Looks like Gordon Stewart Adams Sr. U.S. Army World War II, 1919 to 1977. Fix this flag here. There we go. Ground's a little hard. Came back to this section because it looked like it was pretty old. This might be actually where the cemetery started because as you go here and forward they all look old. But then on the opposite side over here you have a lot of newer ones. So today I'm just going to focus on the older side because the older ones um, draw me a little more. So let's see here. Can't tell on that one. All right, Mr. Gimble, behave. This is a Franny Dennis, 1886 to 1917. It's a nice stone. Like here, another one that's not legible. Martha Brown, 1853 to 1931. This interesting stone here. Oh, February 1840 to 1905. Not sure what the name is. Uh, something brown. There's an Aaron Brown, eighteen eighty one to nineteen forty. Brown, 1886 to 1950. It looks like uh, behind her is another one that's fallen over, not legible. Oh, wow, these are all down here. Let's see what we can find. Can't read that one. Looks like there should have been two sitting here. Let's see here. 
father and mother Coleman Brown, July 1809 to December 1836. So it's Coleman Brown and then Zarelda Porter, 1816-1894, married May of 1838. And then this one. Not sure that that one belongs there. Maybe they look like they've set it up on that stone. Another one not legible. Let's go find this little one here. Let's see. Yeah, that one's not legible. This looks like, says, Sandra, 1849 to 1891. And you have a little one here down below. Just initials like a Z and a G. Then, here's a Laura. 1849 it looks like maybe that goes here to 1891 and of course the little hand here says farewell till we meet again so that's what that means there We're at 90 degrees today, so it's pretty hot. And then along with this, you can see all this smoke coverage. It's not haze, it's just all smoke. The nice one. Miranda, she was 18, 13, 18, 98. Let the spirits get comfortable with me being here. Here's some old ones. But this section here too as well. You can see there's a lot of old stones here. Beautiful cemetery. A lot of old ones there as well. Head up this way. This one here looks like it's turned on its base. This is John, 1863, 1889. He was the son of P.S. and M.C. Whitesides. Beautiful. Stonework on top. It's this one. Looks like born August 18 something, and then you see around here, it's got any other dates. Here we go. This one's 1820 to 1891. But as you can see, this stone has some beautiful scroll work in it. That's a tall one. I have an initial TV. And as you can tell, there's another one in the ground there. 
<clears throat> Some of these are a little mixed, I can tell, because, like up here, these are a little older. And this one. Like first name of Hayden Stone. 18. Sorry, guys, can't read that until 18. 66, maybe. Oh, wow. Look at the detail here. It's got a cross. Can't read it. Beautiful, what a beautiful stone. There's another one. Yeah, it's a cross and an anchor. And that one is leaning off the side there. That one can't tell. Don't want to mess with it. Hearing a dog in the background, but it's almost sound like he's some wild animal. Now these, unless this is the back of these, I'm gonna go around the front. Yeah, not legible. Watch for a step. And this one looks like the tree has grew between it and knocked it over. Miss Jephthah Dawson. 1855 to 1899 and of course if I could lift that myself I would be standing that up and I'm noticing okay like this one facing towards me towards me Charlie Dawson 1821 to 1891 we have Emily Dawson looks like maybe 1825 to 1882 and then this one's turned around the complete opposite. But if I had my choice, I'd rather be facing the cornfield than the road. Oh, wow, look at this one. Beautiful detail, the leaves and the flower. And that's Emma. 1857 to 1900. Do a couple more guys, then I'm gonna uh, go down to this section. It's for some reason this section is standing out to me. Kind of feeling that pull to go that direction, but I wanted to acknowledge some names here. It's a beautiful stone. There are so many detailed stones in this one. And here, this one is going in the ground. Yeah, see these? These are facing towards me. And then this one is facing towards the corner pit. Sorry for the wind, guys. We're supposed to be getting some severe storms in as well. Oh, that's a nice stone. And it looks like maybe this was the piece of it. And then here's this little stone. So 
look at this one. Looks like a tree maybe with some rock around the bottom. Very detailed, beautiful stone. Something McKay, maybe Luel McKay, December 1871, is the death. I don't see the birth. It says just age at 66 years. Beautiful. I mean, you can even see the little, um, the little nuts in there. Off the top of my head, I can't think of the name of the nut there. Wow, and this one here as well and that has a cross, it looks like some roses, and then an anchor. And this is also McKay's. Oh, dad, this is Robert McKay, died June 24th, 1873, at age 28. Beautiful stone. Wow, there's another massive one here. And as you can see, it, it goes way over there to that field too on that side. Merrifield. Looks like a family here. There's Elizabeth Benjamin. Looks like, yeah, Dr. Merrifield. Looks like Dr. S. B. Merrifield. Born December. Let's see. That almost looks like 1788. And died August 1969. No, not 19, excuse me. August 18th, 1869. In his 81st year. And there's a Francis, born July 2nd, 1799, died June of 1887. Beautiful detail. <laughs> and these are almost making a circle around the tree. Some old trees. And this little family plot here. They need to get that tree cut out of there. Or that's going to take the stone and the fence down. Little ones back there. tree definitely needed to come out of there. Looks like maybe the roots of the tree are pushing these over. Alright guys, I'm gonna get out my echo box and K2 and start try to start an investigation. It's so quiet here. Cowboy boots. You can see some little stones in the background there under that tree. That tree's overtaken. This plot here.
a lot of just unusual stones here. Got my echo locks going. Are there any spirits here today who would like to uh, speak to me? My name is Marsha. Hi. It's like a child. I'm just here today to get your story. If there's anyone who would like to speak, I'm here to be your friend and to be your voice. I have equipment here that's going to help me to hear you. It will not hurt you. So are there any spirits who would like to talk today? Bad thing, guys, I forgot my speaker. Thought I just heard leave, but are there any spirits who would like to speak with me today? I'm just here to be your friend. You don't have to be scared. I know it's probably been a long time since someone's came to visit, and I'm here to visit and to listen if you would like to talk. Yeah, getting the child coming through. Is there a child spirit here today? If you're here, you don't have to be afraid. You can come forward and speak. something there. Sit this down here, guys. That bright orange is I'm gonna tell you my name again. My name is Marsha. Can you come say hi? that said cool but you don't have to be shy I'm just here to get your story nice are you glad that I came to visit yeah yeah can you tell me your name? Almost sound like a Steve. My name is Marsha. Can you tell me your name again? How many, 
many spirits are actually here today. Some of this, guys, I'm going to have to go home and listen to it. My headphones where it's windy. But... I said cell phone, that said cell. Is there anyone here that wants to tell me their name? Now, earlier I heard a child's voice. Are you still here? You don't have to be shy. I'm just here to, to speak with you today and visit. I know a lot of people don't come by. So feel free to come forward and talk. What I'm holding in my hand is the only way I can hear you if you want to speak. Just use your energy and come through. Is it okay that I'm here today? Yeah, I'm not going to be here long because I don't want to bother you. I just wanted to come by and visit. I'd really like for you to come forward and tell me your name. I almost thought I heard her leave. Are there any spirits here? Anyone that wants to speak to me today? This is a beautiful cemetery. Her friend. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to be your friend if you want to tell me your name. I'm Marcia. There's something there. Okay. Somebody just came beside me just now because the hair on my arms is totally standing up. Who's standing beside me? Can you tell me your name? I know you're curious that I'm here with this equipment. Yeah? It's okay that you're standing next to me, but I'd really like for you to talk to me. And tell me your name. Can you tell me what color my pants are? Yeah? What, what color are they? White. Oh, white. Who just said white? And I feel you beside me. Who's here? Hi. 
Can you tell me your name? No. Can you tell me your story? Good. You don't have to be afraid. I'm a nice person. I can feel you beside me. You're just being a little shy. Hello? Who said hello? Somebody just whispered hi. Yeah, I'm in the coach is again on my arms. Who's being bashful and whispering hi? Me? Are you, are you a child? Is there a child standing next to me? It almost sounded like that said four. Alright, whoever was standing beside me just left. Is there anyone else who wants to come up and speak? No. No? You don't have to. Anybody that wants to, I'm just here to be your friend and hear your story. Can you tell me your name? Whoever was just beside me, it's okay if you want to come back and stand beside me. Getting that child through again. Oh. Who just touched me on the shoulder? That was almost grabbing my shirt, guys. On my sleeve. Who just touched my shirt? Heard of me. Can you tell me who just came up and touched my shirt? We can be friends. Yes, friend. I want to be your friend. Can you tell me your name? Okay, looks like everyone's being a little shy today. I felt you beside me. You've, you've touched my shirt. You don't want to tell me your name? You want me to leave? Oh, that was a leave. Well, all right, I know you were curious. Oh, did somebody just say Marsha? Okay, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and leave since everyone. I'll come back and visit. Is that okay? Is it okay if I come back? I heard a yes, maybe. 
All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and leave. I appreciate whoever was here with me being curious and talking. But you have to stay here. You can't attach to me or my equipment, and I'll come back again another day if that's okay. Bye. Who said, who said bye? I know you keep saying me, but I, I really would like to know your name. That way I can talk to you next time I come. Well, thank you. I'm going to leave this going, guys, as I walk back to the car. Okay, so there's anyone else that wants to come through, I'm giving you another chance. Well, thank you all, everyone who was here. I'm glad we became friends. Alright, I'm going to turn off my echo box now. Can you say bye? Or something about a spirit there. Bye. Bye.